they're good is one. They're well coached is two. And they scored a lot of points is three. <laughs> so, it, uh, no, they're a, a very athletic offense. Uh, they're very well coached. They make you defend the width of the field and the length of the field in the passing game. They've got talented receivers on the outside. They've got a talented running back. They've got a quarterback that has continued to grow and develop and get better as the season's gone on and really playing at a high level right now. How close or how similar are they to what you face in practice every day? Uh, there's a lot of similarities. Uh, again, you talk about receivers on the outside. I think we've got very good receivers here that we go against every single day. Uh, we have uh, a quarterback that was young in JT that continued to get better as the season went on and became a really uh, good threat throwing the football. We've got an offensive line uh, that, that blocks extremely hard, and, and we can run the football as good as anybody. So there are a lot of similarities. Our offense prepares us for anybody we're going to face. Chris, you guys were playing probably your best defense the last month of the season. I think you could definitely say that was true for Michael Bennett as well. Is that a coincidence, that, or is he raising the level with what he's doing up there? Well, any time that you're playing your best up front, uh, especially right in the, the heart of your defense in the middle, it's going to help the rest of the defense. And when Michael Bennett, about six week, weeks ago, Michael Bennett uh, flipped the switch and something changed, he's become a much better leader. He's become a much better practice player. He's become a much better game day player. And everybody else is fed off of that. You know, he's a senior up there. He's one of our more talented players, one of our best playmakers. And when people see him doing the things the right way, the investment he's made into the game of football to help himself continue to get better has been impressive. And everybody else is following his lead. That switch, is it all? Was it all for him mental? Did you guys change anything schematically to put him in different positions? No, there's a couple things that we did differently that probably would suit his skill set better. So we made a slight uh, adjustment, but. A lot of it just comes down to him. Uh, I think he realized the end is, is coming. He uh, has aspirations of playing at the next level, which he'll have a chance to do. But he also understands that he's got to be a better practice player. He's got to study the game more. He's got to be a better leader. And those are the things that he's starting to do. Chris, Chris. how confident are you in your defense's ability to at least contain Cooper? Uh, we're going into the game to uh, win the game. And we're going to play a good enough football to win that football game. Can you win the football game and let him have a Cooper-esque kind of day? Uh, no, we can't. You know, uh, he's a great player. Um, they've got it, uh, a quarterback that can get him the ball, and if he has a big day, it's going to be a long night for us. Coach, with Apple, Bosa, Lee, and Bell, these are all guys from the class of 2013. Are you surprised that that class has made such an impact so quickly? Uh, uh, they're all talented players, and uh, once those guys really learned our system and what we're asking them to do, and uh, the game slowed down for them. Uh, they all started to, to really show a huge uh, improvement, and that'll continue. I mean, they're not where they need to be yet, but they've made drastic improvement uh, throughout the course of the season, and they'll continue to do so. The sky's the limit for those guys. What's the difference with a guy like Vaughn Bell? At the beginning of the year, he wasn't a starter, and now he's got five interceptions. He's been playing really well. What's what's been the biggest difference with him? Same thing. It's, it's the process. You know, he missed all of spring, uh, missed a little bit of training camp due to injury. Uh, just had to mature a little bit more too. He had to learn what the, our expectations were and how you, you had to play the game. You know, Vaughn was a uh, uh, is a very talented player. It was a highly recruited player. Uh, needed to learn to play within the uh, discipline of our, our defense. And uh, once he did that, uh, again, the improvement has, has shown itself. I mean, he's improved every week that we've gone out there, continues to do that, kind of like Michael Bennett. He's learned to be a much better practice player right now. He's probably one of our best practice players. He had to learn how to study the game and prepare for uh, each opponent each week, and he's done that. So the improvement has, has come because of that. Chris, you guys have gone into games this year where you've had to stop somebody else's best player. Yeah. Like Melvin Gordon, for yeah. example, in the run game. Have you guys had a game, though, where you had to stop the other team's best player or perceived best player in the throw game, and are you confident that you guys can do that? Yeah, uh, when we played Michigan State, uh, Lippitt was an outstanding receiver, and when you look at the numbers, uh, I think we did a fairly good job of defending him. Now, every time we do that, somebody else has a big game. Uh, when we played Cincinnati, they had a receiver that we needed to stop, and we did that, but another guy had some you know, big yards and good production. So we have to make sure that all of our focus isn't on one individual. It's the whole unit uh, together offensively that we have to defend. But uh, there's, without a doubt, every time you go into a game, you talk about what are your keys to victory, and one of those keys to victory is you can't let their best players beat you. And if you can do that or, or not allow that to happen, you have a chance for success on Saturday. I think we've done a pretty good job of that throughout the course of the season. When you look at Cooper, and I know you don't coach him, but that guy just, just looks like a physical freak. I mean, he is a freak. <laughs> I mean, it, it, he's big, he's fast, he's got uh, great ball skills, he's got good body control, and he's going up to catch uh, uh, the ball in the air. Um, he, he, there's not too many things that uh, he doesn't do excellent. How 
Did you find someone in practice to emulate that, um, to best emulate Amari Cooper? Well, the, the best guys are the guys we go against every day with the ones. Uh, but on the scout team, it, it, it is hard to find somebody that can do anything even remotely close to what he can do. So that's a challenge. Chris, how familiar are you with playing Kevin? Uh, I, I don't know him. Um, I know he was the head coach at Tennessee. I know he was head coach of the Raiders, and I know his background and his history. And you know, I've watched his offenses on TV. This is my first time to ever go against a, a Lane Kiffin coached offense. Chris, when you have a defense that has a shutout in a championship game, have you felt that that confidence or anything carrying through? Is this defense in a good spot coming off a game like that? It is. Mentally, we're in a very good spot. I think there's a lot of confidence and a lot of belief that we can be good. Our challenge is to, to play a game like that consistently from week to week. I mean, uh, throughout the course of the year, we showed signs of improvement each week. I think that last game was really a sign of what we could, can be and what we should be moving forward. And is, you know, you've been in bowl games. Is this markedly different that you're getting ready for a semifinal for a playoff game? Is, do you think it is a, a different feel than if it was, you know, for lack of a better word, just a bowl game? Well, absolutely. You're getting ready to play a historic program like Alabama, and you're getting a chance to play in the first ever national playoff. And if you win it, you have a chance to play for it all, you know, and that's different than a normal bowl game.